Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a two box break of 2022 Topps Sterling Baseball. Random hit break number two. The deuces are wild as Vince Scully would say. So it's only a four spot break. We're going to open up both boxes, uh, show you the hits, type in the hits, randomize your names, randomize the hits and match you up with something. Um, so you get, uh, you're going to be guaranteed something. What you'll get, we don't know. So we actually don't have to do a randomizer because Rick bought all the spots. So thank you. Appreciate that. Bought all four spots. So I let him choose the boxes. So in the chat, he's saying two and three. So that's one, two, and three. We'll save those for next time. So here, here are the two boxes there. Let's slide those out and over. And these we'll save for next time. In fact, we'll just keep these right here in case somebody wants to roll, run these back. In a normal group break, I would have just rolled the dice and we would have let the dice um, pick. But since Rick got all the spots, we, uh, we broke protocol on that. All right. Good luck. Could use a knife. There it is, back here. All right, what do we got? We got Silver Slugger Award winners and 2010's MLB All-Stars. Sounds like a, like a Jeopardy category. So this is 2010's MLB All-Stars. Who is Christian Yelich, 13 out of 25. Piece of his lumber, piece of the jersey, and his on-card autograph. Now, Yelich authored a pair of the greatest seasons in Brewers history in 2018-2019 when he became their only player to sustain an OPS of 1,000-plus over a two-year span. He was an NL batting champ both years. In 2021, Christian bounced back from an injury plague year to swat 353 in his first 10 games. Nice. Silver Slugger Award winners. Silver Slugger Award winners. That could be, could be anybody across many different years. Looks like a thicker cardstock than that Yelich. What do we have here? Ooh. That's Dale Murphy. That's a one of one. Wow. One, two, three, four, five patches. Dale Murphy's nice penmanship and a one of one. Is that going to fit into a 180? Do I have to put that back into the slider box? Oh, this is going to be pretty secure in this in this uh, top loader here. Nice. There you go. Dale Murphy's pretty great. People say he's one of the nicest guys in baseball, too. Seven seasons into his career, Murphy mustered a breakout of seismic magnitude in 1982. In what was the first of his back-to-back -back NL MVP campaigns, he paired 36 home runs with 23 steals and topped the NL with 109 RBIs. Dave's, uh, Dale's Silver Slugger and his fielding awards were his first of four in a row. It's a good stretch of baseball for Dale Murphy. And Rick, out of fives and under, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. But wait, there's more. Wow. 
Whoa. We have 1960s MLB All-Stars. Calgary with another goal. They're up 9-6 now. Everyone had the over on that hockey game, right? Cy Young Award winners as well. All right. Cy Young Award winners. I think they're all plural, though. All stars, Cy Young winners. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're right. That's a good eye, though. This said Silver Slugger Award winners and all stars. I wouldn't mind a duel, though. Yeah, I see where your head's at, though, David. That's, that's a good call. And it's just a one person, but it's a big person. It's a big person, the big unit. Randy Johnson, triple relic and autograph, 10 out of 10. Sterling Strikes, autographed relic. And that's Mariner's edition. Does a lot of photography now. Yeah, we could use some feathers in here. Some feather relics. Maybe a man some they want multiple. Bird relics. Did he, did he win multiple of that award? No, I think um, I think it just means like plural, yeah. this could be any Cy Young Award winner from the history of baseball is what they're saying. It's the group of winners, and you can get one of those winners. All right, 1960s MLB All Stars. Old, yeah. Ooh, could be a ooh, really it's a really thick card. Could be a cut auto, Jason Jaspi, that's for sure. It's not a cut auto, but it's a quad relic and autograph of Rod Carew, and it's a one out of five. Rod Carew. That's a twins edition of Rod Carew. Quad relic, three pieces of his lumber, piece of his jersey and his autograph. I think the I think the AL batting title award is named after him. Carew stages yearly hit fest in nineteen seventy four by topping the AL in both Knox with two hundred and eighteen an average at 364, 364. Plenty of walks, 74, and steals, 38. Only enhances his status as a machine-like superstar. Rod, who was still swatting 400 as late as June 27th, ripped at least three hits a game, a whopping 24 times. And that's another train whistle for you, Rick. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. There you go, Rick. Thank you very much. We got the out of five, Rod Carew, the 10 out of 10, Randy Johnson, the one of one, Dale Murphy. And he started off with Christian Yelich. So a few old school guys. An old school guy, an older school guy, a real old school guy, and a current guy right here. Some good guys, some good guys. Thanks for watching, Rick. Thanks for breaking. Everyone else. If you want to follow in Rick's footsteps right here, you want to chase after some hits, one spot guarantees you a random something. So you'll get something. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Rick, thank you very much for grabbing those two boxes. I'll see you next time for your next break. Bye-bye.